What's up? It's Yvonne, and in this video, I want to show you guys how to create a video views campaign objective for Facebook ads as per a request on one of my videos. Uh, so just like any other campaign, it's pretty similar in terms of what you put in and, and how you structure it. But there are a few differences that could be useful to point out, uh, such as I can show you how to retarget to the people that actually viewed your video. OK, so really the difference between this campaign and say a conversion or traffic is that Facebook will place your ad in front of the people that are more likely to view your video from start to finish. All right. And if that's what you want to do, then a video views campaign is perfect for you. So let's jump right in. So first thing we'll need to do is click on this button, create campaign. And I like to name it first what the campaign is about. So let's say uh, cats. All right. And then I will say what the objective is, because if we'll be split testing later on and trying out different campaign objectives, we will differentiate it based on this. All right. So you know how to do a traffic ad. You know how to do a conversion ad. Uh, I did a post engagement ad for Teespring and now let's do a video views ad. So again, Facebook optimizes to show your ad to people that are more likely to view your video. So for this one, I like to uh, make it the name of the ad set. So let's say we want to target a modern cat magazine. OK, this is not an extensive video on how to do the research on your audience. Uh, so, you know, don't don't focus too much on that. Focus on the overall process of making the uh, the campaign. So um, I'll say that then I will say the countries. <clears throat> so maybe US Canada, let's say male, female and let's say 18 plus. OK, just the generic basic kind of ad set. Ad set name, I'll say add one because later on, if I'll be testing, I'll say add two, add three, add four, et cetera, et cetera, for each ad set. So I'm going to create. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm assuming you've already made a video, some kind of video that you want to show. All right, I've made a 10 second video just for demonstration purposes, but it can be, I think, any length, really. Um, longest I've been was like 20 minutes. So I'm pretty sure you can do even longer than that. So um, after you do that, now all we need to do is now we need to just fill in the blank. So let's go into edit here. So just hover over that and click edit. I'm going to move myself out of the way. So regular things, right? We've, we've gone over this and in, in some of the other videos, but let's do it again anyway. So I like to set my budget to $5 because uh, I'm just testing. I'm, I'm trying out the market. If the cost per click is going to be too much, then this isn't the right offer slash audience anyway. OK, so hopefully I should be able to fit in quite a lot of people in this five dollars to be able to see if it works or not. Um, I like to start it the next day early in the morning. So say 8 a.m. The reason for that is Facebook will optimize um, the money you give it. So $5 in this case, better if you give Facebook a whole day to do it as opposed to, you know, a few hours. So if it's 11 PM and you're saying you're giving five bucks, uh, for the day, then Facebook has one hour to optimize that five bucks. It won't be very effective, right? Facebook will just be throwing money around. So that's why I like to start it the next day. So if you have a custom audience, you can just put it here. Like, like if you have a lookalike, right? Uh, we've done that in the previous videos. So you can do that. So we said United States, Canada. So let's just do that. Let's say United States and Canada. Uh, so we're going to include those. Obviously, you can exclude anything you don't want, et cetera, et cetera. Basic stuff. 18 plus. We said all languages. I'm going to leave that blank. Detailed target. So let me say modern cat magazine. It has a good reach. It has about 700,000 people of which only 180,000 will be reached. Uh, and it should be even a bit lower if I edit placements. Uh, connection type that is fine leave all that as is uh, you can save that audience if you want to as well so I will not do automatic placements Facebook recommends it supposedly but let's not do that um, I like to put it as feeds first okay to test it out to, to, to see if it's gonna work so there's that uh, everything else should be good so leave that as is so um, you know you, you have two options you can optimize this based on video views which is really the point of this campaign or based on you know reaching the most amount of people as possible. I'd recommend keeping as video views. That's the whole point of the campaign anyway, right? To get you the most video views of 10 plus seconds at the lowest cost. So that's what Facebook will optimize for. Facebook knows all that data, right? Let Facebook do its thing. Um, you know, leave all this blank. You are paying for impression, et cetera, et cetera. Just, just leave that as is. Everything else is fine. So let's go up. So yeah, so we're pretty good here. You know, if anything changes, like change the title as well. Don't forget to change the title because later on you'll get hella confused. Okay. So 
uh, make sure to keep everything consistent. So now, now we need to do the ad. So we have two options. We can either have already a page post active and we can just use existing post or we can create an ad. If you use existing post, then everything that's going to go on on that post will be live on your page and that will be always available on your page. Uh, like no matter what you do, right? So if you get comments there, you get shares, everything will be seen and visible on your page. All right. If you make an ad, then people won't see outside people, aside from people seeing your ad, they won't see that ad. So if I create an ad and I get, you know, a thousand views, I get, say, say, say I get a thousand likes, I get 500 comments, I get a thousand shares. People aren't going to see that except the people who are seeing that ad right after my campaign is done that ad is gone forever okay it's not there anymore it's done so sometimes you may want to use existing post sometimes you may want to use create ad uh, check out my video on existing post if you want to kind of see why you would want to use this uh, but for now let's just create an ad just to show you the different options available use existing post may be more um maybe maybe faster for you if you already have a post and you you just want to select the post it's it's it's, it's very fast right save some time but for the purpose of this video i'll show you um what to do here so first let's just upload the video so i'll say select video so here's this little test video i made so you'll just upload a video you know go to your files etc pick the video out so that's the video i've made here 12 second long um so you can make a custom thumbnail for your video or you can just choose you know these are ones that are <laughs> available so let's do this one what a great image, right? Uh, you can also add captions, okay? So I, I would recommend you do that because when people scroll down, they will be able to um, kind of see that, hey, this is a video, hey, here's something that I'm missing out, right? It's, it's basically like a way to get around that 20% text rule for Facebook because you get that extra text, right? So use that to your advantage. Uh, there's that, leave that blank, that's perfect. We do need to track it with pixel. Uh, don't worry about that. Okay, so that's basically it. So you would write your stuff here. So say I'm promoting cats, right? Um, hey, have you ever wanted a really cool cat? Well, in this video, I describe how you can get one, right? Et cetera, et cetera, write whatever you want to there. Um, you know, anything above three lines, it will say see more. So for example, if I say, right? It, it will say, I will need to click on see more to see more. Okay. So basically anything over the, the, the three lines. So keep that in mind. Uh, see more may be good. It may be bad. It may create that micro commitment of people clicking see more, right? That's a little micro commitment. They're telling themselves that they're interested. Alternatively, it, it, it may be like, it may be better to put everything all out at once, right? You have three lines that people see right away, make it easier for people, okay? So that's kind of the other side of the coin. So figure out what works best for you. I actually alternate. So I actually do use uh, these different, both of the methods. They both work for me. I'm both, I, I'm still split testing both, but both of them work for me. So I can't, I'm not, I can't tell you that one of these methods is better than the other. Both work for me, uh, depending on the product, depending on the audience, all right? But here's something you can say. Uh, have you ever wanted a really cool cat? I, I describe how you can get one. Uh, you know, go to this link to get a cat yourself. Something like this, something along those lines. Okay, so that's what you could do. This is one option. Now you could also include a call to action, all right? And you can include a, a website associated with that call to action if you click this button here, add a website URL. So for example, I could say a marketing essentials.com. Uh, I can make that my display link too, but that's optional. And the headline, okay, so th this basically follows the exact same format as for your um, for your regular ads. So headline, um, again, de de depending on the market, depending on the target, depending on the product, you know, really cool cat um, or like get this cool free cat right now when you sign up okay something like that let's say maybe like a hundred percent or you know a hundred percent risk free uh instant delivery something like that okay so say something there notice there is a call to action button here shop now send message i like to leave it at learn more uh from my experience and from looking at what others are doing learn more seems to work best okay uh, people just want to learn more i guess people love to learn stuff so keep it at that 
Uh, okay, so so that's, I mean, that's basically your video. Now, if you decide to, by the way, change your mind and you say, you know what, I don't want this anymore. Notice how what happens if I, if I unselect this, it says, oh, call to action is required. All you have to do to get rid of this is no, you don't have to create a new campaign. You can just click that again and uh, just input your URL. So, or actually, no, sorry. So just, just don't input the URL, okay? So um, you can check mark this but just don't input your URL and notice how it won't show, okay? This will only show if I input my website. So if I do that, now everything should show, okay? So don't deselect this if you don't want anything, just remove the website and that's it. Now that should be gone, okay? So that eliminates that little message saying, hey, uh, you must have a call to action, all right? So just do that. Um, that's pretty much it for that. So again, I, I mentioned captions, do that. So let's just click on review changes. All right, I'll click on apply. All right, so that looks like it's good. So now it's pending review. It probably shouldn't take long. Uh, sometimes it's instantaneous for me. So, so sometimes it doesn't even go through a review. It's just active right away. Uh, so here's basically what it's going to look like. Uh, that's because we deselected, uh, deselected this website URL. If we put the URL there, right? Uh, like I said, it will show everything there. So let's just, you know, for demonstration purposes, let me show you what that's going to look like. So I'll click review changes here. And let me show you what it will actually look like on your newsfeed. All right, so now that we have that, so yeah, so it's scheduled. Okay, so it's been approved now. So let me just go in here and let me just show you what it's going to look like on your newsfeed. Happy birthday, Gary. <laughs> um, hey, have you ever wanted a really cool cat? Okay, so there you go. So that's what it's gonna look like. <laughs> There's a little video of me <clears throat> with a thumbs up. All right, two thumbs up for you guys. So like like that, that that's it. There's your video ad, okay? So, so as you can see, if you have subtitles, uh, you know, there's going to be that little captions option available there and it would it would show something there. Okay, so it, it would catch more attention. Now, if you want to use existing post, you can go to Facebook post with comments and then just copy this. Okay, copy this uh, last set of numbers. You can close out of that now. And if I were to use existing post, I can enter post ID and I can do that here and I can submit. Okay. And that's going to, you know, it's, it's, it's the exact same post. Okay. But now it's going to be a post, not an ad. All right. Um, so again, check out that video. If you want to see how to do it and why it's effective for you or why it's useful for you, uh, I'll put the link, uh, up in the card up above, um, <clears throat> the video, <clears throat> but that's pretty much it. So <clears throat> we've done that. I'm just going to discard those last changes we've done. Uh, but it should be fine now. So here's the one more thing I wanted to show you. You can actually retarget people, okay? So, uh, let's see, cool cat default name, why is it? Okay, so that's all the different, sorry. That's all the different uh, ads we've done. So <clears throat> you can actually retarget people who visited uh, your, or who, who saw a portion of your video, say 25% or 50% or 75% of your video, okay? So you can actually create an audience based on that. So what you would do is you would go here and you would go into audiences, okay? So on the left-hand side, top left, go to audiences. <clears throat> and you can create audience. You can go to custom audience and engagement on Facebook, okay? So you're gonna select this. So create a list of people who engage with your content on Facebook and video, look at that. So now choose a content type. So people, so so you could choose people who viewed at least three seconds of your video, 10 seconds of your video, 25, 50, 75, 95% of your video. Uh, and you can say, you know, in the past, uh, yeah, so the maximum time is 365 days, right? So how far do you wanna reach? How relevant do you want the content to be? Uh, and audience name. So uh, cool cat, uh, you know, whatever the name of the campaign is. Um, so I think our campaign name was like cat, um, cat video views, you know, over three seconds, say something like that. Okay. Or whatever you want it to be. Um, now you can also, okay. So oh, that, that's a different video. So now you need to actually add that video, right? So here's a different video, uh, from my other page. 
uh, my awesome YouTube page I just created for this. So that's fine. Just select whatever video you want to see, right? Uh, and, and that's going to say here. So then you can also add uh, people who watched at least 10 seconds of your video, right? And, and you could target all these different demographics together, okay? Uh, they will all be included. So that's pretty much it. And then you would, so let me just take, take, take that out. But let's say create audience. Uh, thanks for creating it could take up to 30 minutes. So now it's populating. Okay, so now you can target this audience So if now if you go back to power editor, let me just show you it should show up uh, In your ad set. So let's go back here. So for instance, you know Im Imagine I made another campaign, right, etc, etc. And imagine, you know, this is the new campaign this ASA. Okay, so what you would do here uh, let's see down here you would go to custom audience and it should show up here so there you go right cat views three seconds so now you can actually target these people that is awesome right so you can actually find out more information about this uh, from the audience insights tool by by plugging in this custom audience group and you can find out the demographics the gender you know etc etc but you can also target them you can retarget those people so you can people who watched a portion of your video you can say and, and you would know exactly where they're at, right? So for example, you know, we saw it was 50%. You could say, hey, I know that you've seen this part because you know they've seen over 50%. How about you check this out or you check this out or you'll probably like this video or something like that, okay? So it's really, really useful tool you can use to retarget based on knowing exactly where your audience is. But that is about it, guys. Uh, that's really all you, you need to know to create this video view campaign objective. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. On this channel, we cover a lot of affiliate marketing slash online marketing kind of how-tos and technical aspects and reviews and summaries and, and all this type of stuff, really anything related to that topic. Um, so thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.